Uh, my name is Tracy Wigner, and I am an associate professor in the Marine Science Program. I've been in Hawaii for 10 years, and I work on water quality both in freshwater and estuarine systems. I'm also the faculty supervisor for the UH Hilo Analytical Laboratory, and I've been supervising it almost since its conception. I've uh, been fortunate to have trained some really amazing students. So our most former manager, Lucas Mead, was my master student. He has recently gone on to work for the um, Hawaii County and their coastal zone management program. And uh, most recently, we have Tara Halitsky, who was also a great student and now is taking over as the laboratory manager. And then Eric um, Johnson was also my former student as well, and he has moved into the um, technician position. So I'm um, very fortunate to have really strong students moving into these uh, leadership roles um, for a very important facility. Um, my name is Tara Holitsky. I'm the lab manager here at the University of Hawaii at Hilo Analytical Lab. I graduated in 2010 with a master's degree from Tropical Conservation Biology and Environmental Science. Uh, my name is Eric Johnson. I'm an analytical lab technician here in the lab. Um, I've been here for about 10 years. I did my undergrad in the Marine Science Department here at UH Hilo and then recently I graduated um, from the TCBS master's program here um, where I was employed through EPSCoR. So the, this laboratory was established with uh, uh, NSF EPSCoR funding. We've had three grants so far. The first one uh, really established the lab. It bought almost all the equipment that you see in this lab as well as some of the infrastructure like the the, um, the cabinetry as well, and we also modified the room just adjacent to here, so we have two dedicated laboratory spaces. Uh, and the, the mission of the EBSCOR grant was to increase research capacity here at UH Hilo within the UH system and statewide, and it's made a tremendous amount of difference. Uh, from the time that I came, when they were just starting to purchase instruments to where we are now, uh, we uh, I can't even remember how many users, but we have several departments on campus, ranging from marine science, biology, geology, geography, chemistry, College of Agriculture, who submit samples here. Uh, classes come in here often, uh, either submitting samples, uh, learning safety techniques, how to be safe in the lab, uh, how to prepare samples, how to use field equipment. Now we have over 20 classes that come here on an annual basis to use the facility. Uh, senior thesis students as well as master students come in here regularly and work on their projects. And then we have uh, research projects by the faculty and um, agency people here um, who submit samples. Yep, this is called an inductively coupled plasma. Um, a lot of people submit samples that have been extracted in some sort of solution. They could be soil samples, leaf samples, tissue samples, anything that they would like run from an element on the periodic table. We have a variety of users. Uh, it starts with students. We have undergraduate and graduate students here, as well as faculty and uh, researchers from federal, state, and state agencies, as well as from nonprofit organizations. And then we also have visiting scientists uh, from the mainland and elsewhere in the world who come and uh, either submit our samples to the facility or use laboratory space. So this is our Technicon Pulse 2 auto analyzer. Um, it's kind of the workhorse of the lab. We use it to analyze a lot of nutrient parameters in water, um, particularly nitrogen um, and nitrate and ammonium and silica and phosphate. So this is the auto sampler. Um, so this injector kind of sucks up the, the sample and it runs through these tubings, through these pumps, where it um, meets up with these reagents that are right here. And they get mixed and sometimes heated and then they go through a colorimeter, which looks for changes in the color of the, the sample. And right now we're running um, soil extracts. So uh, along with freshwater and saltwater, we could run um, resin, resin and KCL extracts in soil to look at soil nutrients. One of our larger projects uh, currently is the EBSCOR project. And the focus of the people in our department has been in the ender part, which is looking at environmental um, response to change. And we've been, we have two sites in Kona, uh, Kiholo Bay, and Kolokohonokohau. And we're looking at how groundwater inputs to these coastal waters are changing water quality, how the, um, how the biota in the water column are responding to these nutrient inputs, 
and also looking at groundwaters coming in through the benthic substrate and the response of the coral reef to those nutrient inputs. And um, several faculty are working with, on that project within the Marine Science Department. And then we also have collaborators at the Forest Service. Um, they've been looking at the uh, role of Kiave in adding nitrogen to the water and also taking water up from the groundwater because they are um, basically water suckers. This machine is um, a elemental analyzer and looks at total carbon and nitrogen in soils, plants, anything solid. Filters, whatever somebody would like to submit, we can run total carbon and nitrogen on this machine. And this machine is, our, is coupled to our elemental analyzer. This is the IRMS, it stands for Ion Ratio Mass Spec and we can look at stable isotopes. We, in this lab, we can measure nitrogen-15 and carbon-13. Our collaborators at the Forest Service are also looking at ankyline ponds. Um, these are coastal ponds that are brackish, so they're in intermediate salinities because they're connected to the water table as well as the ocean, but it's all underground connections. Uh, there's no surface connection, and so they've been looking at the food webs in these ankyline ponds and the effects of nutrients on them as well as the presence of Kiave trees and native trees. Okay, this is our Shimadzu TOC analyzer. Uh, we use it to look at the total organic carbon and nitrogen um, in water samples. Um, this is the sampler. It sucks up, similar to the auto analyzer, um, through each of these vials, and then it runs through here, um, where the samples get processed and analyzed. I frequently use the laboratory to submit samples for my research. Uh, my area of expertise is on water quality, so I submit samples from streams, rivers, estuaries, uh, groundwater samples. We have projects here in Hilo Bay looking at the effects of storm on water quality and the response of the bay to those storm inputs. We also have projects over in Kona looking at the response of those coastal water to groundwater inputs. Uh, so I submit samples that are run on the um, auto analyzer for nutrients. I submit solid samples for carbon and nitrogen analysis and also ones for stable isotopes to do food web reconstruction and determining nitrogen sources to the environment.